Okay, now that we know where the feeders are going to go, we've marked on the track, and I have to look really carefully, but I can see two green spots right there, and so I have to solder feeders. Um, feeder wire. And how long do you make it? Well, it, it depends. I, I know if I go back to my layout, I'll actually take a ruler back there and double check, but from the top of the layout where the feeders are going to go it's just a, about two inches to the top of the base and that's another inch through so that's three inches and I need so I'm going to make them seven inches long because I need a minimum of six so either seven or eight ah I'll make it eight doesn't matter really it's just wires not like it's terribly expensive. I got, what are these, 50 foot rolls? <clears throat> I can't remember now. Anyway, sized out a black one, sized out a red one. Cut both of them. Now, on I got a, this here cuts, but it's also a stripper. If you're going to do lots of wiring, I recommend it has a little gauge on it here that I can use to set the appropriate distance of how much wire I want stripped and I'm going to set it to there which works out to that much wire which is a quarter of an inch that's more than enough now I'm going to leave the other end as it is. I'm just going to poke that through the layout and then I'm going to deal with it later when I need to. And in the meantime, I have these pliers which are square through here. There's no serrations. And what I do is I look closely. I put in a small amount and I squeeze as hard as I can and then I bend it down at a right angle. What that does, you probably, I don't know whether you'll be able to see or not, but it flattens it and gives me a flatter surface here. That's the surface that I'm going to solder to the bottom of the track. So let's do the other one here. And I just kind of do this by eye. How long is that actually? Um, one two millimeters which works out to sixteenth of an inch so it's not very much at all now the other thing to remember is remember what sides red and what sides black there's lots of ways of doing that um, I know people that take a, a box car and they'll paint one side red or put tape red on one and black on the other and they run it around their layout and they mark it that way. Now because I haven't done that sorry I just dropped this over here we need to pick that up put them all back together again. That's a different project. So seeing as I haven't done that I have to go back and look and the way I'm going to look is I'm going to look under the table others that I've got here already and I can see from this that red is on the outside and I can see where there's this guy here and if I undo the tape oh, can't see it on that one that looks like red's to the east Okay, so I verified that on the rail that this is beside, red is towards the inside of the layout. So I want this the same. Now this is a reversing loop, so it doesn't matter as long as I'm consistent within my reversing section. It, it just doesn't matter. But I want the default to be the same on this track as it is on the track beside it. That means I want the inside or this part of the curve to be the uh, the red. Now what I'm going to do here, here's soldering block. I have green marked on the top of the rail. It's not going to do me any good to go underneath so 
I need to go here and look to make sure and transfer the green markings and transfer the green markings underneath. Remember, red's going to the inside. Next up, I'm going to take uh, a razor, or it doesn't matter, I could use a knife as well. But remember, we glued all this stuff down, so I'm going to turn this around, it'll be easier for me to work with. You should be able to see that still. Okay, we're not going to be able, you won't be able to see the green marks, but. All I do is run the razor along the tie, each tie. What I want to do is remove the glue from here. Okay. So that's got the... Yeah, this little glob of glue. Okay. Now I got my thumb here. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on the bottom of the ties adjacent and put little dots on the two ties. That means I know in between is where I'm soldering. I need to get a little bit of uh, flux here. So I just have flux and uh, a little, well it used to be a little brush, but the flux has eaten all the brush part off. And get the flux down, so it covers the rail. While that's happening, I'm going to turn on my soldering iron, put that back, I'm going to leave the flux there. I got some solder. Now the flux I'm going to use because I, I need to tin these guys. So what I'm going to do now is tin these. Now if you remember back to when I was talking about the glue, uh, I use pressure but the glue also sets under heat. So this will in fact set the glue more on the ties. Uh, clean your soldering iron. So it's shiny. In this case, I'm going to use a brush as well just to clean stuff off it. So we got a, a shiny iron. And then all you do is go to the spot where the flux is, touch the solder, make sure it's tinned, and I press that where I'm curing the glue. Press that wood back, okay? Now you probably can't see, but I got two nice little solder bumps there. Next up, this is what I'm going to solder. So we'll just go and get some solder on here, dab it on there. Just enough to tin this guy. And we'll do the same with this one. Okay, so those are both tinned. And I cleaned that off again on my little spongy guy. Just boink, 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 boink. Now, we want to affix these. Remember I said I wanted the red one to the center. So, all we do... I'm going to do the black one first, so you might be able to see that better. Don't need any more solder. Just, I put the flat piece, remember I made a flat piece? I put it against the track. Come in with a soldering iron. Touch it. And it melts and it attaches. You want to make sure? This is how you make sure you got a good solder joint. Same on this. I have the wire coming to the inside. 
you don't have to worry about burning yourself because it's just a touch for that long. Let it solidify and let's see. Okay, I'm tugging with a fair amount of force here, so I got no problem with that. The last thing I'll do is, you won't be able to see this, but I'll lift this up to it, inspect it. And the only thing I see on the other side is green. So, I don't know how well that'll show up, but in there you can see the green marks. You can hardly see the wire at all, and once that goes through, this is cut back far enough that the red and the black will be in the foam and there's just the copper. You want to paint that, you can, but it makes almost an invisible joint. So, uh, next up to reinstall that on the track and to do the others. Alright, I've zoomed in over here. I'm going to bring that piece of track back that we just finished. I think here's the one with uh, two uh, drops on it, straighten them out, and roughly position things, see if we can get these through okay. Of course there's two of them so that makes it a little tougher. I kind of have to feed, that one's going well, this one, oh there it goes, yeah. Because it's in the foam, pull those through. And make sure that lines up. We'll attach the track over here. It's isolation joint. And that all fits good. And have these guys through. So the hole's big enough that I've got a little bit of leeway here to move if I need to. And put them in as well. So if we look here, uh, where the green is. So that right there is where the feeders are. Look at the side, you can't really see anything. If I look in there, I can kind of see a tiny bit. I look in there a tiny bit. If I look straight down, I can see there's a hole there. And I can see inside there where I've made a little bit of a mess. But in general, those are invisible. I'll show you another one that I've done earlier. Here's one here. This is completed. Again, there's... I can see the green. Yeah, this is another one. There's the green there. I can see that's a little piece of glue there. I know if I look way down, I think you might be able to see there's a piece of red there. If I were to ballast that, you'd never see anything. There's nothing at the side. So there's feeders all over the place and you don't see anything. And again, back at this one, I gotta, I gotta search for it. Come on, there's green somewhere on, there's the green. Uh, and uh, you can see I get a little bit of movement still, so that'll help when I'm getting this track all in place uh, but that's uh, what we do now I'll do the rest of them and then once we're done all of the feeders and all the track is at this point and hooked up then uh, I'm gonna take the feeders that came through here these two guys uh, and I'm going to hook them into the auto reverse unit, which is under there. Just get some extra wire and hook them together. And then I'm going to be able to, uh, to test trains on it. <laughs> 